So all your descriptions capture the natural distortions of China that you get in the Anglo-Saxon media which violate the rules of the Enlightenment which say that you must be rational, calm and objective especially in understanding your adversary and if the Chinese were as stupid and as incompetent as you describe them to be don't worry about them but I can assure you you are now dealing with a far more intelligent and rational actor that doesn't fit any of the Anglo-Saxon categories that you applied to them.